LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so we're going to install the uh, keys onto the keyboard and start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard. You can see that there's two small hooks on the top and a larger one on the bottom. But make sure to look at the different keys because they'll change position and uh, sometimes the um, two hooks are going to be at the bottom or on the sides or you know you just have to look at the different positions they are because um, that's going to determine the, p the position of these pieces here. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to make these two pieces uh, click together to become one piece. So what you want to do is you get the, a large piece first and you can see that it has sticks hang, hanging out on the bottom part. Uh, that is going to go clamped, um, I'm sorry, the two holes on the top is what's going to go in the two hooks that are on the top in this case. But if those two hooks are on the bottom then you turn this plastic piece around and you know just make the holes go in the, wherever the two hooks are and make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that by feeling underneath this uh, piece here, the sidebar It's if you feel a bump uh, those bumps are going to face the keyboard on top it's smoother and also you can see that there's a gap where the top uh, the other piece can fit in there next to those two holes. If you turn it around, it's uh, you know taking up uh, the same space as the sidebars. So you try to put this piece in there, it won't fit because it's taking up space already. So the gaps facing up and the holes wherever the two uh, metal bars are. I mean the metal hooks are on the keyboard then you get the next piece which is this it also has two holes on the top and it has a larger hole on the bottom that large hole is going to go uh, clamped onto the uh, single larger hook that's on the keyboard and make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like this by looking at the piece sideways you can see that the the bottom bar here, this one that I'm touching right now with my finger, that's kind of facing down and that's going to go uh, touching the keyboard. So what you want to do is put the bottom bar underneath the bottom bar of the, of the larger piece and then once you have that just make the side sticks of the smaller piece go into the holes of the larger piece. Okay, now it's all one piece. Once you have that, you put the ho top holes into the top hooks, just like that. Then you hold that in place. You get a, I don't know, a thin object. I use a blade. So you hold the top so it doesn't come out anymore, and you put the uh, blade right above the uh, bottom bar or the the small bar of the small um, piece and push downward. Don't really push against the keyboard as much. What we're just trying to do right now is stretch the whole plastic piece so that the uh, metal plate can grab onto the bottom bar. So there you go. 
Now, just get your key, you put it right in the center, and push down evenly on all four sides, and that's all. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.